But, once more ladies and gentlemen, from the left, the Royal Air Force aerobatic team, the Red Arrows. So, from formation, each aircraft pulling up, braking from the formation to fly downwind. As we saw earlier on, the aircraft doing this, it's called a run and break and they will then land in stream. So each aircraft separating themselves, and you can look at the perfect separation that they have there. Each pilot focusing not only on keeping his separation, making sure that he's not packing down wind too fast, but also has to select the gear, get the aircraft configured, and make sure when he lands, he's aware of the aircraft landing, in some cases in front of him, but also behind him. So an awful lot for these guys to think about. to show the following aircraft where the wind is. When one is down, he will roll fast, obviously, to make sure that there's enough runway for the second aircraft. And while we watch the Red Arrows roll out, just like to say to Toby Mansfield from Biddeford, a very happy 18th birthday. Also, Ronald Hooper, happy 60th birthday today. Lots of love from your partner Sue and all the family. And while we carry on on the uh, on the birthday theme, Carol Soames, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Lots of love from your sister Chris. Thanks, John. It's lovely to be back in Yelverton, and uh, but I think probably the first sunny air show I've done this year, which is brilliant news. Um, well, if you think uh, it's going to be hard to beat the junior service after that uh, fabulous display by the Red Arrows, then uh, think again, because uh, the Army Air Corps Lynx is second to none in terms of its aerobatic performance. And uh, I doubt that you will see anything like this anywhere else in the